Dan from Bernheim. Welcome to another installation of Wow! Wonders of Water. Now we've been talking about ways to make sure that your creeks and streams are healthy, and one great way to do that is by studying something that's really fun to say. Are you ready to say it with me? It's turbidity! Can you say turbidity? It sounds kind of like you're going turbidity. Turbidity is a really fun thing to talk about because it's something that you can just use your eyes to study. You don't need any fancy chemicals. Turbidity, scientifically defined, is the amount of suspended solids in the water that make it difficult for light to pass through. But really, between you and me, turbidity is just a measure of the floaties in the water. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you two different samples of water. This is tap water. When I look through the tap water, I can see you. You're kind of blurry, but I can see right through this water. And this water is water I got from a pond. Let's take a look. Oh, I don't see anything. There's too many things floating around in this water. The tap water has low turbidity. The pond water has high turbidity. Now, why would it matter if there's stuff floating around in the water? Well, think about it. What would it be like for us if there was stuff floating around in the air, and every time we breathed in, <gasps> that stuff went into our lungs? When fishes and insects are trying to breathe the water, breathe the oxygen in the water, if there's floaty stuff, that could get in their gills and really, really harm them. So it's always good to not have too many floaties in the water. Also, the floaties can settle down to the bottom of a stream and smother any eggs that may have been laid at the bottom of the stream. And that wouldn't be a very good thing either. So what is it that makes floaties get in the water? Well, there's a few different ways. One way that floaties get into the water is through erosion. Erosion is when the sides of a stream or creek crumble and rub and fall down into the creek. Now, lots of things can cause erosion, whether it's a heavy rainstorm or someone walking right on the side of a stream or someone driving a four-wheeler through a creek. That can cause a lot of floaties in the water. Now, scientists do have a way to measure turbidity, and that is with something special called a Secchi disk. Now, a Secchi disk is just a round disk with black and white on it. Scientists will use this disk and lower it down into the water until they can't see the black and the white anymore. The lower down they can see that black and white disk, the less turbidity there is because floaties make it hard to see in the water. So scientists will measure how the turbidity changes in water through the seasons. Sometimes when it's raining, there's gonna be more floaties. Sometimes when it's dry, the floaties might be lower. So turbidity is just one of the many ways you can see if you have healthy water. Even if you don't have a secchi disc, if you look down into a creek and you can see the bottom, low turbidity. So I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about turbidity today, and I hope you say turbidity to a friend today. Thanks for tuning in to Wow! Wonders of Water, and we'll see you next time.